Now uh, we have uh, statistical key figures. So this is very important. Statistical key figures, activity types. So these are very uh, prerequisites for calculating the overheads in the product costing. So what are these statistical key figures mean? So this statistical key figures is just a number or any kind of, uh, or, or just a number just used for, uh, you know, allocating uh, allocation, allocating of the cost that is incurred within a cost center. Uh, and that is such as uh, distribution and assessment. When we are actually allocating the cost uh, in distribution and assessment, we use this as a basis. Okay. So for example, these statistical key figures, uh, we have uh, we consider that we have uh, a monthly uh, expenses uh, of uh, ten thousand US dollars, which is incurred uh, from the cost center cafeteria, or we can take the cost center as C zero zero one D itself. And uh, when we are having this uh, uh, cost, which need to be allocated to uh, the other cost centers, uh, like again we had different department like manufacturing, admin, and service departments. If we need to allocate these costs, uh, we allocate this cost on the basis of certain uh, uh, statistical figure that is a number uh, like for example uh, we as a need uh, for manufacturing unit we have around 100 employees for service unit we have around 300 employees and uh, again we have uh, 400 employees for, uh, 400 employees for the service unit so on the basis of uh, uh, numbers or number of employees or number of people uh, we assign uh, uh, this particular uh, costs or to that particular cost centers. So again, we need to create this uh, master data for this uh, statistical key figures. Like for example, if we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, employees, we need to create a statistical key figure for the employees. If we have uh, machineries, we can create the statistical key for the machines. So like that, uh, we can create a master data for multiple, uh, 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 you know, this one. Uh, Within the organization unit, we can create multiple uh, whatever the employees or how the cost is being incurred. We can allocate the cost. And uh, one thing we can uh, we have to take a, uh, account of is that uh, we have uh, two categories here: statistical figures. One is total value, another is a fixed value. Uh, so total value is something which whose value will keep changing uh, very often. For example, uh, electric, electric, uh, electricity comes consumption, which will keep changing every month, and also water consumption. So even these statistical key figures, master data should also be created in case we are incurring cost from that as well. And then we have something called fixed value, where the value doesn't keep changing often. Uh, for example, uh, the number of employees within an organization, 100, uh, which are not changed in uh, four months, five months down the line and uh, number of machines and uh, those uh, those things so uh, we need to keep in mind so we have total value and fixed value so again now uh, we have a transition code kk